Hello, welcome to this tutorial on how you can use the custom import routine to import your accounts to the program in any format you can specify. You'll find a functionality on the accounts tab, this menu here, view accounts and custom import down the bottom. You will be able to get info on the function by clicking the info button which will bring up the web page and it will tell you how the function works which I'll go through quickly now in this tutorial. Basically the first line is the specification of how the file is formatted all the other lines is the account data you want to import so the columns can be specified as username, password, proxy, email, pop settings, phone, notes and tags are the supported custom um, columns you can use. So here's some examples. Username, password, email. So that would be the first line in your file. And then the other data then is the CSV of the username, password, email. And here we've got username, password, phone, notes and tags. Username, password, phone, notes and tags. Tags will be specified um, space separated and a warning your notes cannot contain a comma because that would put out the, um, the CSV reading in of the data. So a quick test here, we'll take this data and we've already got it here. Let's import that to the program and all being well we will see those accounts appear. Three accounts here they are. Bring up the data to check. So we have established account. It's the notes for the account ending 78. And established account. The phone number 448673. Eight, I can't remember what it was. So four four eight six seven three seven eight four it's the right number. And that's it really. Um, you can bring in all the data that the website was showing you. If your file is formatted with other information which is not readable, simply you can have an empty column like this. And you can now read in your accounts file any way that the provider sends it to you. If you have any questions on this or you need some help in specifying your file, do come to the forum at rootjazz.com forum and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you for watching.